We are close to finishing the Gold Sheet Top 25 for the 2024 football season. Which teams are the last few to make it into that elite group? Number 23, the Auburn Tigers. I am Ralph Michaels, and I am very excited to be walking you through the Gold Sheet Top 25. We start each video with the current odds as of July 26. To win the national championship, the Auburn Tigers, plus 110. To win the conference championship, 60 to 1. To make the college football playoffs, yes is plus 700, no minus 1400. Their season win total, six sits at seven and a half. The over is plus 125, the under minus 145. They do not have odds to go undefeated at DraftKings. And their top Heisman candidate, Peyton Thorne, he's 250 to 1. We like looking at what a team did last year to see if their stats and records coincided with how we think they performed when we're doing up-downs for the 2024 season. So looking back at the 2023 season, Auburn went 6-7 and seven straight up. Six and seven against the spread, and five, seven, and one over under. Their yards per play diff, they were only number 81 in the country. They were minus 0.15 yards per play. On offense, their rankings for yards per game and points per game, number 92 and number 72. The defensive rankings for yards per game and points per game, number 47 and number 43. They played the number 40 toughest schedule, and when you work that out into their efficiencies, number 65 on offense, number 40 on defense. We also like looking at how the season went and progressed. Did they have an exorbitant amount of turnovers or close games? Well, they had four close games, but they only went one and three in those games. Against Cal, they trailed 10 to 7 into the fourth quarter. Auburn got a fourth quarter touchdown to win that game 14 to 10. Cal missed three field goals, two from 42 yards, one from 44. And then their other three losses, close losses, those decided by eight points or less, came against number one Georgia, number eight Alabama, and number 13 Old Miss. Against Georgia, they were tied at 10, tied at 17, and tied at 20. Georgia got a 40-yard touchdown pass with 2.52 to go. Auburn went four and out at midfield to end the game. Against Old Miss, it was 14-14 at halftime, but Old Miss pulled away and took a 28-14 lead. Auburn got a late garbage touchdown with under a minute to go. And against Bama, they had a good shot to beat Bama. While they trailed 17-14 at halftime, they led 24 to 20 into the fourth quarter. Bama punted with 4.48 to go. The receiver at his own 30, the Auburn punt receiver, muffs the punt. Bama picks it up, scores nine plays later for a touchdown to win that game by three points. Before we take a look at the 2024 Auburn Tigers, please take one second. Hit that like button. We certainly appreciate it. Is there anything you want to see added to these videos? Anything, any additional teams you want done, please just share in the comments. Find out why 163,000 people are subscribed to Wager Talk TV. If you subscribe, every time we load a video, you will be notified immediately. The 2024 Auburn Tigers. Let's take a look at the SEC cheat sheet. You see, our power rating is 21. Remember, Georgia is our top team at zero, so we have Georgia 21 points better than Auburn. They return 12 starters, eight on offense, four on defense. They are number 40 as far as returning productions. They do return their quarterback, but they get a new OC and a new DC. And take a look at that. Even though they were only fifth recruiting in the SEC, that was number eight in the country. Just shows you the power of the Southeastern Conference.
They returned 12 starters this year. How does that compare to the last few years? Well, in Freeze's first year, Auburn had 17 starters back. Only 12 two years ago and 15 three years ago. So clearly under the average from the previous three years. How about players lost to the draft? They lost five players worth seven points. So obviously later round draft picks. Last year, Freeze's first year, he was without five players that had 15 draft points. But two years ago, Auburn only had one player drafted for five points. They did bring in 16 transfers, no super transfers. That actually, the talent ranks number 12 of all the SEC teams. Their quarterback, Peyton Thorne, he made 25 starts at Michigan State, made 12 starts here last year, 1,755 yards, 61% completions, a 16-10 ratio. He will need to improve for Auburn to have a nice winning season. Their running backs, the top three all return, running back room in great shape. The receivers, they lost three of their top five, but take a look at their body of work. Their leading receiver only had 394 yards and 10.4 yards per reception. So even though they lost three of their top five, there was nothing special amongst those leaders. One of the transfers or young kids has the ability to step up and make them just as good. Their O-line loses two full-time starters and one part-time. When we look at the defense, their number one tackler is back as well as three of their top four. And when you're looking at players 5 through 14, they do lose 8 of 10. Remember, they only had four defensive starters back. They do return their number one tackler and three of their top four. But again, when you look at that secondary, they have a lot of holes to fill in that role. Their D-line loses two full-time starters and one part-time starter. The two full-time starters, both NFL draft choices. Their linebacker loses two part-time starters, so we'll say they're down one for discussion. And their DBs, uh, how about this? They lose four defensive backs that combined for 45 starts last year. We'll call it losing three and a half starters. Two of those were NFL draft choices. And one interesting note, when we looked at Cheat Sheet, for the SEC, you saw they have a new OC and DC. It's not very often that you have a second-year head coach, and he had to replace both coordinators. Obviously, that's what happens when you're at Auburn and you have a losing season going up six and seven. Their new OC is Derek Nix. He was with he was with Freeze for five years at Old Miss, so they're very comfortable. No new real schemes need to get thrown in there. And their DCs, they're going with co-DCs. Durkin comes in previously from AM and the Maryland head coach. And Charles Kelly was the DC at Colorado. As we wind down these Gold Sheet Top 25 videos, guys, this is the reason to subscribe to Gold Sheet for the 2024 season. This is the type of work Gold Sheet has already done for this upcoming year. And we're only in late July. Use the code GS30 and you can save $30 off the annual Gold Sheet football subscription. It starts week zero in college football. It goes weekly through the Super Bowl. And again, save $30 with code GS30 by heading to goldsheet.com or wagertalk.com. The Auburn schedule for 2024. It comes up as the number 48 toughest schedule. SEC, that's a pretty weak schedule. Why? Well, they're going to be a 49-point favorite against Alabama a and a double-digit favorite against Cal, a 33-point favorite against New Mexico, and a 36-point favorite against ULM. That drags their schedule down relative to some SEC teams. You'll see I have them projected as a double-digit favorite in six games a double-digit dog in three games. Those games highlighted in gray are those between the eights, from an eight-point dog to an eight-point favorite. You'll see in those gray games are a favorite in zero of those games. And in the gray games as a dog, we have them as a two-point away dog 
and a four-point home dog in two games versus both Oklahoma and Texas A&M. Their buys. Auburn has a buy prior to Missouri and prior to ULM. Well, Missouri is off a game at UMass, not too exciting, but previously they were also off a game at A&M. So Missouri is playing back-to-back -back road games before hosting the rest of Auburn Tigers. And against ULM, again, it's a spot. We'll have to see what happens in that game. ULM would be playing their fourth straight game. They're going to be playing their third road game in four weeks. And they have a five, and they have a road game on deck. So look at that ULM schedule. They finished the season playing four road games in a five-week stretch. That is pretty brutal. And the only team that has a bye prior to playing Auburn is New Mexico, which isn't really going to change the meter very much. I do want to mention when they play Georgia on October 5th, they will be playing their sixth straight game, so a difficult spot. Georgia is off at Alabama at home uh, before they host Auburn, but they had a bye previous to that. So we'll see how those things work out. Again, guys, please take one second. Leave any comments that you want us to change in these videos, add to these videos, or any type of information or videos you might like to see from any of our Wager Talk handicappers. We will oblige. We appreciate you taking the time to fill out each and every comment. We finish with the better's edge. Hugh Freeze, his second season here. Remember, he started off at Arkansas State in 2011, was at Old Miss from 2012 to 2016, had to take a step back going to Liberty from 2019 to 2022, impressed again, and came to Auburn last year. Lifetime, Hugh Freeze, 83 and 56 against the spread, 59.7%. There are not very many college football head coaches that have almost 120 game sample size and are hitting 60%. And FYI, while I perceive Freeze as more of an offensive minded coach, his over under record 58, 76, and 3, 43.3% to the over. So that means 56.7% to the under. At home, Hugh Freeze's teams have covered 62.5%. And he started off red hot. Remember, he was playing at Arkansas State and then went to Old Miss. He started off going 37 and 17, 69% against non conference foes. But the last few years, he's only gone 6 and 12 against non conference opponents, 33%. And only two and eleven as a favorite of minus three and a half and higher against non-conference foes. And while I don't really have a spot here, I like to always give you a best bet on this video. I really didn't find one that was best bet worthy. Having done 22 previous teams, nothing panned out as the best bet. But I do want to leave you with this note for the number 23 rated Auburn Tigers. When Freeze's teams are on the road versus the SEC, and we exclude games when they were a dog of plus nine or higher. So we're excluding double digit dogs and dogs of plus nine for Old Miss. They are eight, 23, and two over under. Folks, that is 74% to the under. And also, if the total is 65 or less, they are 81% to the under, going 5 and 21. Now, take that with a grain of salt, because remember, this year, eight offensive players back, only four defensive players back. We'll see if that defense melds. So keep that over under mind and thought, but also make sure the defense doesn't press you during those non-conference games early in the season. I am Ralph Michaels. You can follow me on Twitter at CalSportsLV, or if you're interested in my NFL college football combo, just 777 
dollars at wagertalk.com. The shortcut, wt.buzz backslash rm. We're going to be at 200,000 Wager Talk TV viewers in a couple months. I hope you're one of them. For the rest of the top 25, check below. And if you missed any of the previous videos, just go back through the archives. You'll be glad you did.